Hello and welcome to Mr. Mayor's Book Chats. Today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about next week. Next week is Read Across America Week and I've got a few activities planned and giveaways and things like that that I'll talk to you about. But one of the most exciting things, at least for me, about Read Across America Week is I am going to be putting approximately 100 new books into the school library. And I'm not going to go through them all, obviously, today. Um, that would take far too much time. But over the next couple of weeks, I'll be highlighting a few of those in my book chats. But just a couple highlights. Um, I've got these Lucy and Andy Neanderthal books. This is a series of books about cavemen. They are graphic novels. Um, they're kind of funny. You like that? If you like Space Case, which apparently a lot of you did based upon your Coddle voting, I've got, I think, four or five books by the same author. Um, these There's a fun jungle series. There's the sequel to Space Case. There is a spy school series that I've got a couple from, along with some other graphic novels. I bought a couple um, new books that are told in verse. I know a lot of you like that. One of those is one. It is about a pair of Siamese twins that have grown up obviously together forever, their entire life. And the struggles that they endure with that. Again, it's told in verse, just like that. Saving Red is another novel told in verse. And even though it's pretty thick, um, because it's told in verse, and because there's a lot of white space on the pages, it goes a lot quicker. But this one is about a girl named Molly. And Molly volunteers at a homeless shelter, and she meets a girl named Red. And Red has got some past issues that she doesn't like to talk about. And as she talks to Red, Molly realizes that she is holding a lot of stuff inside of her too and that Molly doesn't want to talk about. And then Red starts acting more and more, got a little, little weirder and weirder. And she, Molly realizes that Red may need some additional help. So it's just a good story about friends told in verse. If you like dogs and a long dog's way home, got a couple of these new books. I've got some nonfiction. There's a new book about Google, the history of Google, and how it became what it is today. I've got Bonnie and Clyde. If you like Charlie Joe Jackson, got Charlie Joe Jackson's Guide to Extra Credit, Guide to Not Growing Up, and a new friend, Katie Friedman, gives up texting. So those are available. I've also got some new... National Geographic that are available to be checked out. So again, this is just a little glimpse into some of the books that I've gotten. They will all be available next week during Read Across America Week. Also, to celebrate Read Across America Week, we'll be doing some dress-up days. On Monday, we're going to do Reading Gets You Ahead, so you can wear your favorite hat on top of your head. Tuesday will be... Let me check real quick. Books can take you anywhere. So you can wear your vacation gear. Wednesday, just one more page before I sleep. You know, if you've all, ever been reading in bed and mom says, turn out the lights, and I just say one more page, just one more page. Well, that's what Wednesday is all about. You can wear your pajamas. Thursday is reading, keeps you on your toes. So it's a crazy sock day. And then Friday is, oh, the people you'll meet as you read. And I challenge you to dress up like a book character. And on Friday, for the dress up like your favorite book character, I'll be having a little bit of a contest. So the best costume will win a grand and fabulous prize. Also, throughout the week, for any book that you check out from the library, I will give you a ticket that you can turn in. And I'll be doing some drawings um, throughout the week for some prizes. I've got some posters, some gift, gift certificates, some books that you can choose from. 
And there will be also some other ways to earn those tickets along the week as well. And finally, just a heads up, our spring book fair is coming up at the end of February. So you've got that to look for as, I'm sorry, end of March, not the end of February. The end of March is our book fair. As always, enjoy, and I look forward to seeing you next week during Read Across America Week.